please. 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 Yay, we're back. We did it. <laughs> we did it. I'm so proud. <laughs> oh. Thank you so much for waiting. I'm so, so sorry. We had like two instances of of me being like, just hold on. Uh, and I really appreciate it, guys. I'm so sorry. Um, this morning, uh, basically, so Sam has uh, a bachelor party, um, a stag, if you will, which is what they call it here, and uh, he kept being like, I don't have to go. I can just stay and, like, take you, you know, to the airport and everything. And I insisted that he go because he skips so many things that have to do with, like, spending time with his friends that he's had since he was a little kid. Um, so I was like, you have to go. You, ha you have to go to that. Like, we literally live in the country now. Please just go spend time with them. I will be fine. Let me turn the uh, focus off. <clears throat> so he was like, okay. Um, but it's, so it's, it's, uh, it's created a situation where uh, we, we had like kind of an emotional day so far because Sam realized, oh, I'm gonna be saying goodbye to Clark this morning, but like for a week, right? It's not just like, bye, have fun at nursery. It's gonna be, oh, Bye, I'll see you in I'll see you in a week, right? And they both got a little sad. Um and uh Yeah, and I was just saying goodbye to him. <laughs> we were like This is sad. This is a little sad. It'll be fine, but it's just a little sad, you know. I think also because this is such a like last minute trip, so we didn't have I'm not used to doing things this quickly. <laughs> so I didn't, you know, I didn't have like a week run up for, to, to be like, okay, in a week I'm gonna be leaving, you know, so. Yeah, tomorrow we're on the plane. So Sam's gone for the weekend. Um, Clarky and I leave tomorrow. <sighs> so it'll be a really long flight. With a, with a almost four year old, and I think she's gonna have a blast, but I'm still stressed out about it. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> so. Yeah, it'll be fine. Well, I'm hoping that. The ideal would be that we get on the plane and she's awake for like a few hours and then she falls asleep. That would be the ideal. She's awake for, for a few hours and then she falls asleep. Um, and hopefully sleeps for a while. We plan on bringing her pillow and one of her blankies and her dolly, right? Um, so hopefully she'll just she'll just sleep for a while on the plane and then wake up and be awake for a while and then maybe and then maybe just sleep, you know? So Yeah, Clarky and I are going to America. Um we've had a, a family tragedy, so uh Sam and I were talking on Wednesday, just to keep this short, Sam and I were talking on Wednesday and he was like, I think that you should go see your parents. And so I kind of like hemmed and hawed on whether I should go by myself or go with Clarky. And I decided to go with Clarky um, because my parents haven't seen Clarky in over two years now. So uh, yeah, so Clarky and I are gonna take a little adventure and go to California. 
And if I had gone by myself, I only would have gone for a couple days. Um, but since I'm bringing Clarky, I'm gonna stay for longer, so. So yeah, uh, I don't know, I don't know what work is gonna be like next week, but on the safe side, I'm just saying there probably won't be any streams. I'm gonna try to be on D&D &D shows and things like that because I really just have to like open a website and be on a call to like do D&D, &D, you know? Um, but uh, yeah, we'll see, I'm not sure. Yeah, my parents are extremely excited. So. I will be attacking you all with reruns. Oh my God, that's right, reruns are a thing. Oh, Alex, that's so smart. <laughs> one of, uh, I don't know if you can do this from the video manager, but um, I was thinking one of the things that we could do is uh, run the, the moral videos. I need to export the the other episode, but. Two of the days could be like running moral videos. I found out that fake sleeping yourself can trigger child sleepiness. I always try that. When, when Clark seems like she's just really loopy and weird, sometimes I'll lay down and close my eyes and hope that she'll be like, oh, we're sleeping now. It doesn't always work. <laughs> I thought I was gonna be late for the stream, but you were late too. I was very late, yes. sleep trying that oh yeah well at Clark's bedtime honestly I fall asleep at Clarky's bedtime more often than Clark falls asleep I think <laughs> there are so many times that I fall asleep in her bed it's very silly I love the artsy folks you've been reading recently. I love reading art channels. I think art streams are so relaxing. How long is the flight? Oh, it's like 11-ish hours. Depends on wind, but. I was watching Sam's stream yesterday. We had a surprise Clark visitor at like 4 a.m. Yeah, I woke up at 4 a.m. to Sam bringing Clarky upstairs. <laughs> And putting her in bed with me and I was like oh hello <laughs> he was like it's four o'clock so pretty sure she'll sleep some more <laughs> I was like okay <laughs> yeah I told her um pretty sure I can run the neon divide episodes nice FYI, daylight saving starts on March 13th in the US. I won't still be there on the 13th. At least not, not with the current plan. But thank you for the update. But yeah, we don't have episode one of Neon Divide, but we do have episode two and I need to export episode three. Episode four will go up late because um, I will not be at a computer where I can edit it, so. <laughs> It's fine. 
<laughs> so yeah, happy Friday, everybody. On the plus side, my mom uh, has been so looking forward to uh, being around Clarky that over the last like year or so, she's kind of compulsively bought clothes for her. <laughs> So my mom was like, you don't even need to bring anything for Clark. I basically have an entire wardrobe of clothes for her here. <laughs> Great. Perfect. bought a cardigan today and then I was like my mom is is the sort of person that loves buying clothes I don't enjoy buying clothes very much um, but my mom loves it so I was like you know what if I want to buy a cardigan I should wait until I'm with my mom because I think she will be so excited if I'm like mommy you know what I really need I really need yet another oversized cardigan <laughs> can you help me can you help me get one of those? She'll be like. <laughs> Has she planned a whole grandma itinerary? I don't think so. I mean, I literally messaged her on Thursday morning being like, hey, I hope this is cool. I've just bought plane tickets to come and see you because <laughs> I'm not doing very well and I would really just like to be with you guys. And my mom was like, okay. <laughs> yes, yesterday. <laughs> That's like my dad when I go to buy anything tech-like. I'm saying, Dad, I'm thinking of getting a new vacuum. What do you recommend? He's obsessed with doing research on finding the best one. That's very cute. No, it's just me and Clarky. Mommy Clarky adventure. So I just said bye to Sam. And he said bye to Clarky uh, a couple hours ago. We had to, we had to go get COVID tests done. Um, in order... We have, we have to have like the thing that says they don't have COVID in order to get on the plane, you know? So um, Clarky and I had to go take tests this morning. And <laughs> as we were leaving the walk-in place, Clark goes, that was actually kind of fun, but also very boring. <laughs> I was like, Clark, we were in there for like three minutes. <laughs> How could it be both? <laughs> made me laugh. Hope Sam's weekend thing goes well. He mentioned he was a little anxious to socialize last night. Yeah. Well, like, you know, if you, if you tend to be more introverted or, or tend to have any kind of like social anxiety, I think it, it can get harder and harder and harder and harder to socialize the more time there is between socializing, if that makes sense. Um, so. So yeah, he was like, <laughs> he was like, you yeah, know, maybe I just won't go. You know, he kept saying that over the last, like, week and a half. Like, well, maybe I, you know, like, do I have to go? And I was like, honey, you know, like, I, I totally understand the, 
the anxiety of not wanting to do, especially like a long thing, like a weekend long thing. But I was like, it's also about your friend, you know, like we spent so many years not living here. Um, and now you do live here and you can be there for them and you can like, you know, spend these important moments with them. So I think if you're able to, even if you come home early, um, I think that he would really appreciate that you showed up for him, you know, so. That's what I said too. I was like, it might be one of those situations where you show up, like the, the time leading up to it is full of anxiety. And then when you're actually there, you have a good time, you know? <laughs> Anywho. But Clucky's very excited because I think we're gonna see Kraken. And she loves Kraken, so um I think we're gonna see Kraken. And, uh, yeah, I'm also going to try and see Jeannie. I don't know. We'll see. Because they're all in Los Angeles, but my parents live, like, in the desert, like, like three and a half-ish hours out. So, um, yeah, we'll see. It's hard because... If it was just me, like, you know, the 11 hour flight sucks, sure, but I would, I would just like, you know, just rent a car and then just drive right after the flight just to get it done. But I really do have to consider to myself like, well, but <laughs> Clark will have been on this really long flight and Clark will need to just like have some time you know your parents aren't in Oregon I thought they were for some reason so half of the year now my parents live in California because they have really really bad arthritis um, so during the really cold months they're much more comfortable if they spend some time in the desert so they have a, a little, they have the farm in Oregon and then they have a little place in the desert that they go to for a few months. Yeah. The, the, the snow bunny effect, whatever that's called. <laughs> I don't remember what it's called when you, when you run away when it's cold. <laughs> Snowbird, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Dun, da, dun, da, dun, da, dun. Oh my gosh. Hopefully the desert doesn't get too cold at night. Oh, it's fine. Is this the first time Clarky is aware of going on a plane? So last time she was on a plane, she was like a year and a half old. She knows that she's been on a plane, but I don't think she actively remembers being on the plane. I mean, the flight will happen at night for us, but then we will land and it will be nighttime for LA. <laughs> 
So basically, I'm hoping that she'll sleep on the flight, but I, all, I don't want her to sleep for the entire flight because then she will be wide awake all night. Like all, all California night, you know? So. <laughs> Yeah, today Clark was like, I'm not afraid of any heights, any heights at all. I was like, really? She was like, yeah, so I'll be fine on the plane, mommy, because I'm not afraid of any heights at all. It's <laughs> like, okay. Oh my god, when I'm by myself on a flight, I will I will on and off sleep the entire flight if you let me. It is not an option with a kid. <laughs> I can't do that with Clarky. Yeah, and that's what Sam kept saying. Sam was like, I think she's gonna love it. Like, I think she's gonna have a blast because she's gonna have, um, because, you know, like, we got her some coloring books and she's gonna have the screen and, um, you know, we can get her a bunch of snacks and stuff. We can basically just make it as fun as possible for her. sleep through takeoff the flight and the landing yeah yeah takeoff especially for some reason so Is that a thing? Alex said, I hate the immediate moment after takeoff when everyone simultaneously farts. What? <laughs> Planes are the most comfy as a kid because you can splay out over two seats. If you have two seats, yeah. I'm really hoping that this flight is like pretty empty, but we'll see. If we can just like lift the, the little thingies, if we're able to get like a, th a 3B just to ourselves and we can lift the thingies, she can basically have a bed, which would be tight. So we'll see. Thing. All right, Alex, let's read this. In-flight flatulence, a common discomfort. So what causes it? And what can we do to save embarrassment? David Robson speaks to a Danish doctor with some surprising answers. <laughs> it's too long. It's really long. <laughs> Wait a sec. I gib. Thank you. 
There. I can do it. It's too late. I already gave you a sub. Thanks for being my mod. <laughs> like a hundred cat food sachets in it so the world's your oyster baby who's gonna take care of the kitties while sam is gone uh nobody needs to because clark and i leave tomorrow afternoon and sam gets back midday on sunday so. Even babies need passports. Yep, she needed a, a negative COVID test and she needs her passport. The whole shebang, she's a human. She's a human now. citizenship so she has both passports which is great because it means coming coming into both countries is streamlined <laughs> Tell something weird's going on. You can tell something's up, huh? It'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, she's like, why are there stacks of clothes in places? Not in a, in a, like in an organized fashion, that's not a thing. Not in this house. Something's up.
She doesn't want to leave. <laughs> she just wants me to hold her. Okay. Okay, I will. Yeah, I try to, to like, make sure that they want to be held, you know? So, I'll occasionally do this to see if, you know, if she wants to go and she doesn't, so, all right. Clarky's very excited, yeah. I keep trying to like manage expectations and be like, just so you know, Clarky, it's, you know, it, we're gonna be on a plane for a really long time and it might be boring sometimes, but we're gonna try and have as much fun stuff to do as possible. And that was when she was like, we should bring my pillow. And I was like, we should bring your pillow. That's a great idea. Um. But yeah, I always loved going on planes with my mom. I loved it. So, you know. She's a whole, she's a whole people now. Yeah, we've got, Sam bought her some coloring books yesterday. Um, you know, obviously there's the like, the little screen on the, on the uh, seat so she can watch something and etc. I recently flew across the US and my husband's family could meet our one year old, oof. <laughs> Yeah, those flights, oh my God. I've never done, I've done flights with her by myself before, but they've always been short. Um, I've never done one of these long flights with her all by myself. So, we shall see. Can't believe airlines have direct flights from London to LA. Yeah, they're both they're both like major international airports. So a lot of the major airports have direct flights from one to the other, even if it's really long. Yeah. We can actually like talk, <laughs> you know. <laughs> And if she's upset or if she's frustrated with something, she can tell me what it is. So. Yeah. Y'all. And I plan to do even, even a little bit of Neon Divide tonight. So I might be a, I mean, be a little bit tired. I would skip it, but like, <laughs> but like four different characters have sent me DMs being like, hey, I'm probably going to come find you on this episode. So I was like, all right, I can, I can be a weird mushroom for a few hours. <laughs> you know, I can, I can stack up and be, and be a weird mushroom for the sake of my fellow players and then give everybody a heads up that moral is not going to be around. <laughs> Cause I won't be able to be there for the next episode. Oh yeah, I mean, I've done the, the, the London to LA trip. I don't even know how many times I've done that more Definitely more than 10 times. Um, I'm very used to that flight. Uh, so that helps that the adult in the situation knows what to expect, you know? 
moral channel update when. Uh, the next episode is pretty much done. I just have to export it. Um, but the episode that is happening tonight, I won't have a chance to edit until I get back from this trip, so. That is the one thing though. I have not taken a flight since COVID, which I think is, you know, a lot of us are in that situation. I haven't been on a flight since COVID. And I was looking at the thing that was, you know, understandably saying you are expected to wear a mask for the entire flight. And I was like, oh my God, like 11 hours of just wearing that mask. It's gonna be hard. <laughs> that is gonna be hard. I'll do it, but that is gonna be hard. Yes, Sam got her her own little suitcase yesterday. Has recording your Neon Divide sessions changed how you play? No, because I'm not streaming it. So I still feel like I can take breaks when I want to and stuff. Um, but I feel like I'm interacting about the same amount that I was before. Uh, I don't think that there's much of a difference. This season in general is just very different for me because I have I have more like kind of built in goals as a character, you know? Take lots of spares, put a fresh one on every two hours or so, okay. warned her about her ears popping at takeoff no I feel like that's a thing I can tell her on the day we'll just make sure that we have like something chewy to eat I'll be like pop this in your mouth my dude she understands the concepts of like ear popping Oh, it's called Video Game Study Lounge, is the name of the... Sorry, my mom just messaged me. Hi, Joe! Oh, Joe, I meant to message you. I, I will be on my parents terrible laptop for god forged so i might sound like shit but i will be there <laughs> Terrible laptop in the desert. You'll be atmospheric. Yeah, something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was sort of a last minute decision. So Clarky and I are hopping on a plane tomorrow and we'll be gone for the week. So we probably won't 
we probably won't have any streams. I'll be on D&D &D shows, um, but I don't know what like mic quality or anything like that will be like. want to fast forward to being there because it's it's just gonna be so much you're gonna see jesse and them while in cali i mean so i'm i'm going to california to be with my parents because we've had a death in the family um so my priority is getting to them as quickly as possible and they don't they live like three plus hours away from everybody else um so uh yeah i don't i don't know who all i'm going to be able to see um but hopefully i'll get to see a couple people Taking Clarky, yeah. Hi, Brett. Oh my God. Yes. Oh, so we did Dead Beats last night, right? I was gonna suggest Valium for the flight. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Not not when I have to keep track of a child. Um, I was <laughs> what I was going to say was we did Deadbeats last night. I, uh, Summer and I were talking after Deadbeats because I was like, it is absolutely killing me playing a character that is so fucking useless when it comes to like plans. <laughs> it is so hard to be like, Dash would Dash wouldn't Dash wouldn't say any of the things that I'm thinking. It's so difficult. I was like, this is gonna be great. I'm gonna play a character that's just head empty. And then I don't have to worry about shit. And in, so instead, every session I'm sitting there like, oh my god. It's fine. Head empty. <laughs> head empty, it's fine. <laughs> Um, and Summer was like, yeah, I'm in kind of the same situation because I've made a character that doesn't care, which is just as bad. Like, I've made a character that just doesn't care, so he's also not going to say anything. <laughs> it's <just> like, done. <laughs> You could pull it off by not being the one that suggests it, but accidentally mentioning it. Like, we made it, guys. Gonna go chill and clean my shield, but I can't remember where I put that thing. See, that's the smart way. That's smart. Talk with Octo and see what he did with Bofides. Octo is, I mean, Octo has been playing head empty himbo characters for a very long time. He's really, he's, he's tuned into that, you know? <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at this Octo gang rising up. Hmm. 
But that's, uh, that's next Thursday, Duger's problem. Today, today it's Mushroom Duger's problem. And seeing if I can get another character to steal an empty inhaler for me. <laughs> that's goal number one tonight. <laughs> Yeah, I'm doing all my D&D games from the desert, so we'll see how it goes. I don't think I can extend the watch party. I know, I'm very glad that I'm gonna see my family too. I'm stressing out about the flight, but once I'm there, it'll be really nice, so. We fly tomorrow. <sighs> Let me see. About this. No, not you, okay. Manage. Extend. I can extend it. We will extend it by two weeks. There we go. Wonderful. We did it. I wasn't sure if it would let me because I, I put it at the maximum amount of time when I made it. And I didn't know if it would be like, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> but it works. It let me, so that's nice. I thought about trying to bring my drawing tablet, but I don't think it's worth it <laughs> to try and bring it. The other thing I was looking at was like, you know, like hikers that bring their toddlers on hikes and have those fucking heavy duty backpacks that you can just like slip a full grown child into. I was like, maybe it would be less stressful if I just like could just plop Clark in a gigantic backpack. It would not. It would not. <laughs> Because Clark will want to walk herself. She would be so pissed if I put her in one of those. Yeah. I mean, like, I have friends who, who baby wear um, they're, you know, like three-year-olds, but it's a situation where they've been doing that since their kid was like an infant, right? No way. I wasn't good at it when she was an infant and Lord knows I couldn't do it now. My son hated baby wearing from day one. Yeah, Clark was never into it. If you if you plopped her into a carrier when she was like really tired, it would probably knock her out. Um, but that was not a guaranteed situation at all. <laughs> mentioning that I should get a leash for her. I don't need a leash for my kid. 
I'm not knocking people who get the baby leashes. I just know I don't need a leash for Clark. You have to travel with a stroller slash car seat. So, um, when we land, we're picking up a rental car and I have put down that I need a toddler seat in the rental car. So I shouldn't need to, so, uh, but we'll see. <laughs> But you know, it was one of those things where it was like, we can't guarantee that you get a car seat, but you have paid for a car seat. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> all right. to work at a car rental and nothing is guaranteed not even the rental nice <laughs> maybe i will bring my car seat Yeah, that's the problem. That's why I really don't want to bring mine. They're so heavy and they're so awkward. And it's fine. You take them to luggage and, you know, they go through luggage just like everything else. But, like, it's just, it just sucks. <laughs> they just suck to bring with you, that's all. advice as a long time DM is to make bad decisions on purpose. Try to interact with other characters whenever you can to build relationships and take weight off of the DM. Interacting with other characters helps so much with like interacting more in the future. That's absolutely true. Good night, Jerry Reg. Sam's friend that came to pick him up for the stag <laughs> pulled up and parked and was like, are the chickens going to peck me? <laughs> Sam was like, what? He was like, are they going to attack me if I get out of the car? <laughs> Sam was like, no, they're chickens. <laughs> they're not geese. They're not going to attack you. What are you talking about?
<laughs> yeah, there are guard chickens. Um, to those of you who have been asking how Bergie's doing, she's doing pretty good. The, the wound isn't totally gone, but she walks like there's nothing wrong with her anymore, which is amazing. So I'm very happy. Safe travels. The weather's been really nice in Cali lately. Yes. Sam was like, you're going to go and you're going to think, I want to move back. And I was like, I'm worried that I will think that. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't put down enough roots here to feel like this is home yet. And I think when I go to LA, I'm going to have this, this like wave of like, I'm home, you know? because I was in LA for so long that it basically became home for me. Clever girls, Velasa chickens. We've said before, like, if Clark got older, if Clark got older and was like, I want to go to school in America or something, you know, if she, if she reached the age where she could go to college and was like, oh, I kind of want to go to college in America or like live in America for a couple of years, we'd go with her unless it felt like we were, you know, infringing on her freedom, right? Like if it, if it had the vibe of like, I just want to like go be on my own for a while. And we were like, cool, we'll come with you. <laughs> kind of defeats the purpose. To school right out of high school and my mother moved with me i don't think that there's anything wrong with that necessarily i just more mean like if it was obvious that that clark wanted to you know like establish some independence and move away and like do her own thing and whatever else i would want her to feel like she could do that and i wasn't gonna like mother hen her you know are planning to sell their house they always joke oh we'll just come live with you for a bit and I'm like no wait <laughs> Jesse's parents you know came to live basically next to him in Los Angeles which I think is very cute I haven't managed to catch a live stream since the subathon oh my goodness how are you I'm only gonna be streaming for another like half an hour. And then I gotta go, cause I gotta, I have so much to do before I hop a plane. But I wanted to make sure that I did one more stream before I left. when families all live in one neighborhood. <laughs> Candy and Cloves, thank you so much for all the gifted subs. Thank you, thank you. Welcome to the cat gang. Everybody who has just gifted a sub, be sure to say thank you to Candy and Cloves. <gasps> and Oblivious, thank you very much for the gifted subs as well. Welcome to the cat gang, everybody. Thank you, guys.
<laughs> I think about the rap from the subathon on a daily basis. You can go listen to it. Zenflux, thank you so much for the gifted subs as well. Thank you. Welcome to the cat gang. Everybody who was gifted a sub by Zenflux. Thank you guys. If you were gifted a sub by anybody today, please take the time to say thank you. Thank you, thank you guys. <laughs> I'm wondering if Sam is going to end up streaming non-stop while you're gone. I don't think so. I don't think he is. I did tell him that if he wanted to do a subathon, now is the time when we're gone. Um, but I don't think he's gonna. I don't think he's gonna be like just constantly streaming. I think he is still gonna try to like go to the gym and stuff. So. silly question my partner and I are considering adopting a cat but we've never had one any tips on making your house cat ready um well if you get an adult cat they will know how to use a litter box already which is very nice and cats just generally kind of know how to use them but if it's a kitten um you know you can expect to have some like uh some touch and go situation especially if you adopt from like a shelter um, there are lots of types of plants that can't be around cats, so make sure that um, the plants that you do have, if you have any any real plants, that they are cat safe. Um, Watson was able to get into my cupboards, so uh, <laughs> be aware of that. Um, what else? They will scratch at things. They absolutely will scratch at things. Um, so have stuff that is okay for them to scratch to redirect them to. Huh. Yeah. If you open a closet, check where your cat is before you close it. They will be inside. God, that's so true. Do you mean cats allergic to certain plants? No, a lot of plants are toxic to cats. So if you're somebody who tends to have a lot of flowers around your house, um, there are some flowers that are okay and a lot of flowers that are not okay. Like Sherlock, you want to eat every plant that comes in the house, huh? 
Yeah. So. Watson is such a yes man. What? Are you a yes man? Kind of. never get to go to the bathroom alone again. When my cats were younger, they followed me into the bathroom. They don't anymore. Yeah, I mean, I don't think that we need to list off every individual thing that is toxic to cats. I think it's probably more helpful to say, look up a list of stuff that's toxic to cats. <laughs> It'll be, some of it will be food, some of it will be plants, um, and be mindful about where you keep those things. Dribble girl, why are you so drooly, goofball? Oops, sorry, can I come back? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Always. stressed. <laughs> I'm so stressed. It'll be fine. Just one thing at a time. I'm looking at like the whole scope of everything that's gonna happen tomorrow and I need to just think about each step. I need, each step is gonna be fine. Fun adventure for her, especially. But this is also around the age that they like actually understand what a plane is and what's happening. So, so we'll see. They, I've read before that like three to four years old is around the time that kids start like panicking on planes if they're going to panic, um, which is one of the reasons why I've been like talking to her about the plane so much. This is her first time on a plane. No, but she hasn't been on a plane since she was a year and a half years old. Year and a half years old, <laughs> whatever. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, I'll never forget being on a flight with Clark and she had been, she was so chill the whole flight and then, you know, just hit a wall and got really upset about something. And again, she was like, maybe a year, maybe a year and a half. And this old lady who I know has had a kid before because there was somebody else on the plane that kept calling her mom. So like this old lady kept like, Stink eyeing once she started crying, and I was like, It's a baby on a plane. We've been on this plane for like seven hours, and she hasn't made a peep. So, how about you chill the fuck out? <laughs> I have never cared so little about someone's opinion in my life. <laughs> Hakuna, your tatas. <laughs> yeah. Hakuna, your tatas, lady. Chill out. If the plane doesn't have very many people on it, that'll be ideal, right? Because, like, we can just have our own little corner. And if people want to get away from us, they can, <laughs> right? They can just walk away and go to a, sit somewhere else. I flew recently, it was packed. Okay. I tried to like select specific seats and it kept like, the system kept being like, I'm sorry, we can't, we can't select these seats for you for some reason. And I was like, cool, that's awesome. childless sipping wine and being mad. <laughs> uh, yeah, I actually love turbulence. Hopefully my kid also loves turbulence. Hi, Hi darling. sweet girl. I know. What age is Watson? Um, she'll be nine in August. Plane as empty as my head. So it's full. See what I did? I turned it into a compliment. <laughs> 
Clark, Clark was like, mommy, do you think that the pilot also has a kid like you do? And I was like, I don't know, maybe. Because, you know, pilots of planes are, are people just like anybody else. So they could have a kid, maybe they don't have a kid. I don't know. She was like, we could ask. I was like, we absolutely could ask, sure. We could ask the pilot if they have a child. <laughs> a thing for me at least I was on a lot of flights as a little kid and I I never like went to the front of the plane or anything Takeoff was delayed, so they started just showing adults the cockpit. Amazing. Hi, Lamia! We got to see uh, all of y'all's lovely art. I just thought of this because I saw Lamia in chat. We got to see everybody's lovely art for Deadbeats yesterday. It took a really long time to get through all of it, but it was awesome. fun yeah I was just saying that uh did you watch pipe dreamers no I went to bed <laughs> um you okay you okay slippy Pipe Dreamers was wild. Everybody said it was really good. Totally different from Deadbeats. What's your connection with Timac? Uh, he's a he's a friendarino. We are friends. seen him play games with Strippin, but uh, I'm married to Strippin, and we are both friends with Timac. I just don't generally play, uh, I don't really do co-op stuff in general, so I don't really play anything with Timac, but Sam does. Yeah, my arm is, is hurting. <laughs> <laughs> trying to hold this cat up. Well, recently, you were in D&D &D together? Oh yeah, yeah, we were. My darling, here. Hold on. <laughs> there. You okay? You were so 
so drooly. You are so drooly, goofball. D and D's different. That's different. Oh, Watson, this is almost all healed. That's taken such a long time to heal. I don't know what you did or what Sherlock did. Oh my God, it's so long back there. <sighs> I wanted to get that cut before I left. Maybe I should just do it. <laughs> That's a bad idea. Get Sam to do it? He's gone. I'm not seeing him for another, for a week. in Oregon? Nope. Not this time of year. They're in the desert. Hmm. Plan B. Clarky can help. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. We're coming up on 5 o'clock which is when I was gonna go. Gonna go pick up Clorky and uh, get everything else done and ready to go for us to leave tomorrow. Oh God. Um, okay. So yeah, like I said, uh, probably won't see me for um, the next week aside from D&D &D shows. So I'll make sure to um, tweet about those when they pop up, uh, but our normal streams here will not be happening. Um, again, as like a, just like a really shortened version. Um, we've had a death in the family, and so I just really wanna be with my parents. Um, so it's kind of a last minute decision, but I haven't seen them in over two years, and I'm taking Clarky with me, so we're gonna be there for about a week. Opai means Japanese. I don't think that's true. <laughs> Pretty sure it means boobles. Um, Sprinkle the Lich King says, I just wanted to say it's always a blast to hang out with the cat gang when I'm able to. Russo Guru says, I love you guys all bunches. And Dapper Badger says, I haven't been absent from Duke's, I have been absent from Duke's streams for like a year due to time zones and school, but I'm pumped to see my favorite Twitch chat and streamer, I guess, again. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, I think. Um, okay. William Block, thank you for the 30 months. Cappy J for the 11. Ben Jack for the 11 as well. Ratatosk for the two years. Happy anniversary. Thank you very much. I appreciate all the love. Um, Akaran, thank you for the 51. Michael L8 for the 87. Flummoxed for the 37. Saiyan Adam for the 67. Frake Mall for the four years. Happy anniversary. Thank you very much for the support. 
Um, Joe Fudge, thanks for the 28 months, bud. Amarian, thank you for gifting a sub. Lord Doritos for the 27. Ellie Angerad for the two years. Happy anniversary. Thank you very much for the support. I appreciate it. Blair, thank you for the two months. Um, Candy and Clobes, oblivious to me. And Zenflux, thank you guys so much for all those gifted subs earlier. Ninja Cat, thank you for the 76. Wild Turkey for the 55. Metalatus for the 6. Kuba the Bear for the 64. Schmuse, Tigger for the 59. TFK for the 29. Strawberry Sky for the 34. Zenflux for the 17. And True Heart for the 73. Thank you guys very much. I'll miss you. I'll miss streaming, but it's going to be really nice to see my family, so can't wait i wish i could just zoom forward to when i'm with them <laughs> um. uh. let's see <laughs> so many people playing elden ring let's go say hi to lana lux Okay, wish me luck. Take care, everybody. Um, and I'll see you around. Okay. Aw, okay, bye-bye. <laughs> Candy and Cloves, thank you for gifting subs. Thank you, thank you. Wait, why are those happening now? Wait, what happened? Why are, why are these popping up now? What's going on? What is this? I have to go. 